Hello, I'm Rachel and you're watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. This is the Stocks in Action show. In today's show, we'll take a look at the latest updates from Australia's mining company, Newcrest Mining, global winemaking company, Treasury Wines, and the utilities-focused firm Origin Energy. We'll also cover Austin, a mining equipment design and manufacturer, and corporate bookmaker PointsBet. We'll be looking at the results during their respective financial year, dividends distributed, and their latest updates. Lastly, we'll take a quick look at developments across the ASX. Firstly, shares of Australia's mining company Newcrest Mining were trading up so far today after the company declared its results for financial year 2021. The company has approved a pre-feasibility study and will now commence the feasibility stage and early works program. It's also delivered record profit, free cash flow and a 129% increase in final dividend in 2021 financial year. Newcrest Mining has an approval for funding of $120 million for Early Works program at Canada Mine, which are to begin from December 2021 quarter. It earned a record statutory and underlying profit of $1.2 billion. The mining company is now almost six years free of fatalities and life-changing injury injuries and have reported a 12% improvement in injury rates compared to the prior year. Despite the challenges brought by COVID-19, the company's extensive precautionary measures and focus on safety has enabled it to achieve its full-year guidance. Next, let's take a look at Australian global winemaking company Treasury Wines. They're seeing their shares trading down so far today. That's after the company shared their annual 2021 financial result with net profit after tax up 2% to $250 million dollars and earnings per share up 2% to 34.7 cents per share. Treasury Wines reported earnings before interest and taxes of $510.3 million, in line with the prior year. The wine manufacturer has declared a final dividend of 13 cents per share, fully franked. This is a straight rise of 62.5% on 2020 financial year's final dividend. And in financial year 2022, Treasury Wines is positive on its outlook across key markets that's outside of mainland China, with its focus to be on delivering continued momentum behind the premium portfolio, which has shown strong performance globally. Moving on now to Origin Energy, the utilities focus firm. Their shares are trading down. That says the company shared their 2021 full year results today. Origin Energy announced a statutory loss of 2.291 billion for the entire year ending 30th of June. This mainly comprises 2.247 billion of non-cash charges including impairments and deferred tax liability. The company reported underlying profit of $318 million and is suggested of lower commodity prices both in the energy markets and integrated gas divisions. Its underlying earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization for energy markets was down 32% on the prior year. Origin Energy's immediate focus is on capital discipline and cost management to continue to build balance sheet resilience with a rebound in energy markets earnings expected in financial year 2023. Now it's time for a very short break, but stay tuned. I'll be back with more updates from the Australian stock market. Property by Kalkine. Looking for a dream home? Well, that may sound easy, but it isn't. And from looking for a property that is the right fit for you in terms of cost and other factors, to zeroing down on the right mortgage plan, there are various aspects to consider. And for the latest slowdown in the property market, tune in on Calkine TV with me, Sage. I will give the latest updates on the property market, as well as real estate stocks to help you make the right decision. Keep watching Property with Calkine. A very warm welcome back to you. This is Rachel, your host, live from Kalkine Studios, and you're watching The Stocks in Action. 
Let's take a look at Austin, a mining equipment design and manufacturer. Their shares were trading down so far today. That's after the company started a $6.5 million capital investment to transform and automate its design and manufacturing facilities at its major Asia-Pacific centers in Perth and Indonesia. Funding for the plans will be done via operating cash flows and surplus asset sales. The CapEx program will feature a new manufacturing flow approach with increased automation, custom jigs, fixtures, workstations and a standardized manufacturing approach to building projects. Austin will still be able to provide customized engineering solutions and products to its customers while leveraging the benefits of a production flow line. Moving on, shares of corporate bookmaker PointsBet are trading up so far today. That's after the company was selected as National Football League's approved sportsbook operator for the upcoming 2021 season. PointsBet will therefore have sponsorship opportunities and brand visibility from its unique integrations across various TV and digital assets, including the NFL, owned networks and other media partners. The company also gains use of official NFL data, enhancing its customers' experience. This selection acts as a cornerstone for PointsBet to provide the fastest and most comprehensive in-play betting experience worldwide. Earlier this year, the bookmaker announced that the NFL and future Hall of Famer Drew Brees officially joined the team as a brand ambassador. This season, he's entering a broadcasting career with NBC Sports, its official sports betting partner, and this will deepen the NBC Sports and PointsBet relationship. NBC Sports will also provide PointsBet with a full-year multi-platform media and marketing opportunities for all of its events. Now, before we do wrap up, let us quickly glimpse through developments across the equity and commodity markets. The S&P S X200 is currently trading lower today, dropping 0.79%. Designer, supplier and manufacturer of mining and communications equipment and metal detection services, Coden shares are currently down 6.92%, while mining company Mineral Resources is down 6.77%. 10 of 11 sectors are lower today with the S&P SX200 index. Materials was today's worst performing sector so far, while information technology has been performing a little better in morning trade. That's all from me for now. Stay tuned with Kalkine TV for more live market updates. We'll be back with more news on the markets, the economy, diverse themes and sectors. I'm Rachel signing off for now.